And I am able and honored to represent that spirit of uh, civic activism in introducing, uh, on behalf of our younger generation, uh, Chinori Kone, if you would just come forward. And I will... Uh, I will meanwhile give Chinori a proper introduction. Chinori was born in 2007 in Houston, Texas. She is a fifth grade honor roll student at Gregory Lincoln Education Center in Houston Independent School District. She is the first place winner of Houston's 21st annual Gardere Martin Luther King Jr. Oratory Competition. Uh, Chinori thankfully believes in civic engagement, in running for office and voting to change things. She believes that young people who are committed to helping their communities should be convinced to run for local, state, and even national offices because we need sympathetic people who can change things. Uh, I hope that Chinori will be one of those. Uh, please join me in welcoming her. Look around you, on your street, in your city, or in your country. What do you see? Well, I will tell you what I see. I see people living in tents under the freeway and under bridges. I see parents going to jail because they used a false address just so their child could get a good education. I see people getting sicker and even dying because they can't afford the medical attention they need to stay alive. In the years leading up to 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. looked around and saw these same problems. It has been 50 years in the situation for the poor, our education system and healthcare system have been virtually the same. The promise of Dr. King's dream of improving the lives of the poor and granting equal and fair access to education and healthcare has not been fully realized. If Dr. King were alive today, he would be proud of our country's achievements in civil rights. He would marvel to see our first black president, Barack Obama, but he would be disappointed in our large homeless populations, our failing schools, and struggling healthcare system. My dream for today's world is to eliminate poverty and for every human being to have equal and fair access to education and healthcare. In April of 1968, Dr. King planned to hold the Poor People's March in Washington. 3,000 poor people of diverse backgrounds set up tents on the Washington Mall. He wanted the top officials of our government to pay attention to the problems of poor Americans. He felt that the nation was more invested in the Vietnam War than ending poverty and building up its people here in America. In one of his speeches, Dr. King said, it is estimated that we spend $322,000 on each enemy we kill in the Vietnam War while we only spend, in the so-called war on poverty, $53 for each person who is classified as poor. My solution to these problems are very similar to Dr. King's. I want all of our top government officials to take poverty, failing public schools, and health care seriously. The way to do this is through political action and voting. Like Dr. King said, we must also realize that the problems of racial injustice and economic injustice cannot be solved without a radical redistribution of political and economic power. Well, I believe we cannot change things with some of the current politicians we have in office now. But like Dr. King, I have a dream. I have a dream that from the sincere, caring people here in America, They'll arise some young people who are committed to helping their communities. I believe if we could convince these people to run for local, state, and even national offices, that we could vote for them and have sympathetic people in power that can change things. If we can do this, then we will be the true realization of Chinori's dream. In Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, Dr. King said, I have a dream that one day right here in Alabama, Little, little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and little white girls as sisters and brothers. Well, I believe only if these children who are joining hands are not hungry, have had a good night's sleep in a decent home, and have received the best education and the best health care, 
then we will be able to say that Dr. King's dream has really come true. Thank you.